Hi, I'm Ben and I'm the creator of GrubTrade. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to sign up as a producer. So you just go along to the homepage at grub.trade, click sign up as a producer. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is to select your location. Now, if you are a shop or a farm or something like that, then uh, you will probably want to select the the place that uh, people could come and collect produce from you. Um, otherwise, you could put your home address or, or anything, whatever you want. So basically, you, you zoom into the map, you click where you are on the map, and that's going to get your, your grid reference, and then click Done. And it's going to try and guess your address from where you've clicked on the map. So uh, Jeff's Farm, we'll call it and you put an email jeff at jeffsfarm.com and you can put a phone number there if you want people to be able to for example text you or call you if they want to talk about a, uh, a delivery or a collection and um, when that's correct you click done and then you've got various options that you can put into the system so uh, if you want to offer delivery which is not um, uh, compulsory so you can put zero for delivery if you do not wish to deliver at all if you only want people to come to you to collect that's fine or you can say that I will deliver for a minimum order of 15 pounds you can then put in a maximum delivery range in miles so um, let's say I will deliver up to 10 miles okay you can put a note on there to say your uh, days and times that you are prepared to deliver then you can put your payment terms because GrubTrade doesn't take payment. Payment is just um, arranged by agreement between the producer and the buyer. So you might say cash on delivery or invoice or send it to my PayPal or whatever you like. If you have a website, you can put your website address in there. And then you can put in a short description about your business and uh, anything else that people would like to know that would help them to know what they're getting, uh, what they're supporting and how they can choose you. Then you put in a random password, agree to the terms and conditions and click done. And there, there we are, we are now set up on the system and you can go ahead and start adding items. So you can put in the name of the item, description, what the unit is so is it you know a half dozen is it a a box a bag a sack a per hundred grams you know what is the unit in which you sell this particular thing so you know broccoli uh, and you might put bunch for example and how much is it per unit you know uh, 0.6 pounds a 60p how many units do you have available I've got about 35 is it available now you click on or off and if it's not available now you can put in a future date to say when it will be available so that um, for example businesses or shops might pre-order from you for something that's going to come along later if you want to put in a, an image you can add an image and then you save changes and and that's it very very simple